All right, so we're gonna do now another floor progression. Um, this one is basically a quadruped progression. That means we're quad, we're starting off on all four. And we're gonna scale it up so that we're um, working on an overhead uh, uh, kind of pattern. So we're getting better at going into that overhead position, but we're not doing it where the arm is having to move on a fixed body. We're essentially moving the body over a fixed arm. So it changes some of the things up a bit and what we'll find more often than not is, even if you are dealing with shoulder pain, generally you won't have shoulder pain while you perform these because with the hand on the ground, you are helping to initiate more of the rotator cuff um, uh, recruitment to stabilize the ball within the socket. Mind you, the whole job of the rotator cuff is really to depress the head as the arm begins to elevate over top because in all biomechanical honesty, we really only have about 120 degrees of this humerus moving on the socket of the scapula. The other 60 degrees comes from that scapula freely moving itself around. And obviously that requires some hinging at the clavicle um, and as well at the sternum, but to not get too complex, if you do have shoulder pain, a lot of these drills really shouldn't be painful and are a great way to actually start working on that overhead pattern so that you don't necessarily lose the position. So the first one I'm gonna choose right now um, is essentially going to be a quadruped uh, knee lift and then I'll progress it as we go. So starting off in the quad position, again I'm going to initiate a uh, protraction and long neck position so I get some depression. From here I'm going to raise the knees up. Now automatically off the bat, this is a good drill to even start addressing the spine and the shoulder. Uh, this position can now start, if I go a little wider, I can start focusing on elbow taps obviously I would take a rest come back up into position work on the elbow tap I'm really trying to avoid this side shifting so I'm trying to keep my spine as neutral as I can okay and then I can progress this to a press knee lift foot lift so I can also do a foot march kind of having me now focus a bit more on the arms Kind of starts to look a little bit like a bird dog, right? Okay, a little bit more complex. And now I can start to, if all that starts becoming pretty easy to do, I can now progress to an overhead. So I'll have a press, lift, drive up into the overhead position. And once again from here, I can start with elbow taps, Right, I can start with increasing more weight, much like some movements you'll see at a yoga. All right, if I get pretty good at this, I can try to do a contralateral lift. Much the same as the other one, I'm just now at a higher angle with the shoulder. Okay? And lastly, I would include this now with a type of push-up variation. You can see this is making me break out in a sweat. These are not easy to do. So if I was to go into a push-up variation, I've got my press. Notice I brought my legs a little bit further behind me. I'm gonna drop down to my plank and then perform a single arm push-up. And then come out of the position. And that's a nice way to start working on that push-up position and transitioning back into good overall shoulder stability. So that's a tough drill. Um, there's a lot of little mechanics in there to progress from. Um, so I would say first start with the quadruped lift, very basic, and then we'll progress the complexity or if, as you feel the need to want to challenge yourself. Okay, obviously use sound judgment. If you do have pain with any of those movements, back away from them and always start back at the beginning, whatever's less complex, and then see if you basically need to own some of that before you progress.